Maverick is one of the best attacking operators, but in terms of his gadget, he's probably one of the most misunderstood on how to actually properly use his gadget. So in this video, I want to break down Maverick's utility and how to actually use his utility. So let's get right into it. Maverick has two primary assault rifles, which is the M4 and the AR-15. Now, personal preference lays a factor in that, but most of the time you should be using the M4. The DMR has only 11 bullets and it's very hard to kill more than one person with that thing, especially if you can't hit the head. So the M4 is definitely a very strong AR and he has an okay handgun, the 1911, and he has frag grenades, which suits him so amazing. When I use the M4, I personally switch in between using an ACOG and hollow, depends on the map or it depends how I'm feeling. I personally like to use the vertical grip with ACOG. Um, if you're really good at con controlling his recoil, you can use the angle grip, of course, but I only turn to the angle grip when I want to use like hollow or any one-time scope. So it's really just personal preference, but that's my personal favorite. And I like to use flash hider as a barrel. Now I want to go into in depth how to actually properly get hatches. So let's get right into that part. The most effective way to get hatches is to actually do an L shape. I'm going to show you a bad example of me trying to get the hatch doing this technique because I do it too thick as you can tell and I'm not getting the whole reinforcement around it. You need to make sure that you're effectively getting the reinforcement around the hatch. As you can see, I do the L shape and I miss big gaps and it actually finally pops once I get the remaining burns. So that was the bad example. So now I'm going to show you the proper example. Uh, I did. A, I tried a lot of like ways to actually get the hatch. And as you can see, I'm not doing it as thick as I did last time. Now, some people actually like to do an X, but I feel like that exposes your body way too much. And when you're actually making the L, I'm just doing this, for example, on top of the hatch. I wouldn't sit directly on top of the hatch or once it pops like it did right there, you know, you could fall in sight and die. Now moving on to walls, basically right here is what you're going to want to start doing. As you can see, you burn the top left, uh, the wall is soft on the left, usually you would hear like a little reinforcement pop. So what I'm about to show you after this animation and this video is done, I'm going to show you what it sounds like and what it's supposed to sound like. So you know that the walls are actually becoming soft. As you can see at the top right, this is a very important part. You need to break that. It's gonna You're going to hear this like metal fall. It's the same thing, you do it at the top left, the top right, the bottom right, and the bottom left. You gotta make sure you're burning that properly or the wall will not go soft like it's shown on screen. Bro. <laughs> your head. Easy one time. <laughs> As you can see, every part of that video, I made sure at the top left, I was burning it extra just to make sure it broke. You will know you did it properly once you hear the little metal like fall and pop. You also have to make sure you're burning the middle beams if you're going for the whole wall like I did on that video. And at the top right, you gotta do that for every single one of them almost four times. You'll hear the popping, it'll like the metal will fall. And that's just how you properly do it. A lot of players end up not doing that and they'll be like yo i burned the whole wall and it'll still be reinforced now this is just another pure example say if there's not an ads uh near the wall for some odd reason like you somehow get it off this is something you can do you throw a nade in between uh the crack as you can tell that i did i just aimed all the way up and it bounced down there's a new thing with the reinforcements where it's like it's almost like a sandwich as you can tell i threw the grenade it and it literally landed in the middle and dropped down and made the wall like got rid of the like the wooden part of the wall. Now, as you can tell, it, it makes getting the bottom part a little bit more difficult because you might skip over like I did, as you can see. But as soon as you burn that, it, you can enter the little hole. Now, it might glitch like it did, but if you perfectly time the grenade through the reinforcement and it can pop the middle. Now, another alternative thing you can do is you can actually make a, a circle. Now, it's a little bit more risky and you're more likely to die. But if done correctly, as you can see, I messed up a little bit, but it makes the wall soft and it's a little hole that you can enter through. Very easy, very simple, and it is an alternative to 
of course making the wall soft and then shooting it open you can also make little rectangles as you can tell that i'm about to do it's kind of like a thermite but it's not as big and it doesn't do as much damage but it's a vaultable hole that you can actually jump through just like i said before it is very easy to die doing this and it's very risky but it can be done Another great thing about Maverick is actually that he has frag grenades. So just have, uh, him being able to have fra frag grenades just makes him more versatile. As you can tell, what I'm going to do here is I'm burning a hole. And you got to actually make sure you position this correctly so it actually bounces off and doesn't go inside the reinforcement. You can throw nades through his holes and it's very effective. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this was just a brief explanation on how to properly use his blowtorch. If you liked the video or you have any concerns, comment in the comments of course if you want to see me do another operator and break down how to properly use their utility and how to use them then also comment below which operator you would like to see uh like and subscribe have a lovely day they're shotgunning above white i have a white stairs cam nobody's white at the moment if, if somebody can go up there and just watch it yeah i'm going hold on check your cam again i'm gonna run up nobody's white nobody's white Okay, I'm holding it. Okay. He got fried. One, one sounds like he's behind, like, uh, like Tetris. You have any cams? Let me go in there. Let, I do. Uh, just the wall. Yeah, one's hard left of the breach. I died to freezer wall! Uh, you're not. Are you dead? You're not dead. Can you pick him up? No, you're shit. That just swung me between. I'll pick him up. I'll pick him up. Move. Is hatch open? I'll go open it. Actually, no. There's no yeah, point. Hatch is open. Is it? Double window. Echo. Mira and Echo is definitely slightly. Hold on, I'm droning. Give me a sec. Go ahead, tell me you're swinging at the river bar. No, I just don't know. Hey, they're doing the window. No, he's peeking the bomb. He was just on window. I'm watching window. Let's see him dead. He's just letting him peek on the bomb. I might spawn him. Dropped freezer! Why? Last one's on the mirror. I had trouble. Good job. Oh, my bad, bro. Stop.